Hello everyone, welcome to a very exciting uh, vlog series. Um, if you didn't know, me and my boyfriend Lee uh, recently got engaged. So there'll be a whole new vlog series on the channel as we are planning our wedding. Um, I wanted to document this series because as I document everything in my life, this is no different. So, sorry, just going this way. So today, we are doing our first bout of wedding venue viewings. We've just arrived at our first one. Uh, we're in Derby today for the view for the viewings. Um, and yeah, we've just arrived at our first one, which is Darley Abbey Mills, I believe. I'm so very excited to look around. Uh, let's see what it looks like. And then we're just at Grangefield now, so we'll head in and see what that looks like. Stretter Manor Barn, which is just outside Chesterfield. Um, this was originally the first venue I ever saw came up on a Facebook ad, so I thought well, we need to check this out because then I can either cross it off if it's no good or consider it. It is, so this is our final one of the day. extravaganza so as you saw we went to three viewings today um in the derby area which is obviously where i am well not obviously but that's where i am from so i'm looking around here at the moment um so yeah we went to see the first one was the west mill venue um we've been around there a few times because we go to dolly abbey wines quite a lot um, and that's dolly abbey the west mill uh, we really enjoyed that one uh, it offered the packages were really good sort of as you saw there was lots of different floors um, Where you have all your different ceremony reception all of that and um, there's a nice little bridal room where I can get ready with my bridesmaids The morning of they've got some good accommodation and it just felt like they would look after you 
from the full experience they were like we can sort everything for you we've got event planners here you'll have like your personal person to look after you so it just felt very nice um and we really enjoyed it um and that was a good start and then the second one we went to i don't have any paperwork for that but that was at great that was called grange fields down long lane in derby um but i don't think this one is for us because it just didn't have as much space and didn't meet as much of our criteria as the other two places and it was the most expensive so it was sort of like why are we paying the most but actually getting the least from what the others had to offer um, but it was nice to go and see it because everyone talked a lot about that one and it was a good one on the list and we really liked it the layout the ceremony room was then really nice it was so nice um, but there were just little bits that didn't fit with who uh, like our guests are if the weather's not on our side just certain things wouldn't work and then the third one which was actually the first venue i ever even came across the day after we got engaged it came up as an ad on facebook and the pictures were amazing so i, was like, I have to go there uh, which was Stretton Manor Barn which was just outside Chesterfield so it was quite it was sort of 30 minutes out of Derby but still in the Derbyshire area um, and I just it was one of them that I had to go because I was like I need to get out of my system then I either know yes or no and that was really good um, they had and as you saw they had a nice little plaque that said welcome Alicia and Lee we got a nice guess of bubbles while we talked through everything and yeah that was really nice and the lady that took us around was very nice and it was a it was a really nice place you could have an outside ceremony um so that is on the list but again we think just the, for the space it's not quite perfect for what we need because it was all in one room there's nowhere to go if you just want a bit of peace and quiet or it, the music's too much and especially because if we can't go outside because it's raining everybody's just in one one room um so it's just maybe the space for us we don't have a big wedding and we're not inviting a lot of people but the people that we are inviting we want to have as much room as possible but that place was really nice and i would recommend if you're looking around in this area at the moment the west mill is the top the top top dog that might change we're gonna see if we can have a look around a few more maybe see if there's any in Essex but as with everything in Essex which is where we currently live and Lee is from um everything is very expensive down there so even just briefly looking it's sort of you added an extra five to ten grand on for the exact same package just because it's in Essex so yeah that's the only downside but it's been a really productive day it's really nice to just go and just jump in because you have to start somewhere we've decided on the day of the week that it's going to be and roughly the month and then with the west mill i think there's a potential three dates that we can have so if we go ahead we've got at least further today than we were yesterday with it which is very exciting i just can't wait to get on with it now i just want to book the date in because that's when you can start hiring people sending out your invites save the dates and that's when it starts to get exciting it's about a week and a half later now uh, today's a very exciting day the date is thursday the 20th of april 2023 we've got an official wedding countdown and very exciting today we have booked a wedding venue um and we actually went with the west mill which was the first place that we went to see on this vlog because it was just amazing it offered us everything we wanted all the scenery by all like the river and just we could really see us getting married there and how we can bring it to our imagination uh, so yeah that's very exciting and that was our next step today we've had it provisionally booked in for a couple of weeks but we just sort of making sure if we knew whether we wanted the accommodation as well or not and just finalise a bit so we've both been quite busy. I just thought I would come on and say today, the 20th of April 2023, we have booked our dream wedding venue. I've also started collecting a few wedding bits um, 
Funnily enough, this is what Lee got me when we got engaged because he saw I was um, looking at it <laughs> and I really wanted it. It's got different sections in. I've started filling it up with some bits already. And then this was actually in the sale in um, Paper Chase. It was shutting down at something like £2 and it matched. So this is what I've bought so far. I have also got the box... Um, that lives under there now which is as we collect bits which we've collected a few random bits um they are very random at the moment i think we've got some save the date cards i've got a few cards for my bridesmaids um i've got some pajamas that said bride on the back of them and it's just little bits that as and when we see them especially if things are in the sale maybe it's just best to buy uh, and get them in boxes. But yeah, obviously we do live in Essex, if you didn't know that. But I'm from Derby, which is why I sort of wanted to look at venues there. Because I know Derby in Derbyshire is a really lovely place. And it has really lots of really nice venues. And it's all very picturesque. And actually a lot of Lee's family really enjoy holidaying to Derbyshire. So it works out that everybody really loves it there. So we will be going between here and there. Obviously my family all live in Derby, so if there's anything that I need, we've basically got two or three boxes at their house for when we need to leave stuff there that there's no point in bringing back or that we buy there. And then a few boxes here that when we find things here, it goes in that one and then we'll take it up with them. But yeah, I'm very excited to take you all on this journey um, and actually get going now, because now you've got the date, you can crack on with everything else. <laughs> 